Scientists at the Mini Booster Neutrino Experiment, or Mini Boon for short, sent neutrinos into a vat lined with detectors. Adding up their detections, however, they found there was an excess in a certain particle. Why? One answer for this might be sterile neutrinos. Neutrinos are extremely light and small particles that only interact via the weak force and gravity. Neutrinos also have antiparticle partners. Neutrinos don't have charge, so their antiparticles don't have opposite charge like matter and antimatter. No, instead, the difference between the neutrino and antineutrino is their chirality. Chirality in physics is a weird property of particles. It says that particles can be left or right-handed, kinda like us. All neutrinos are left-handed, while all antineutrinos are right-handed. Which is great, since only left-handed particles or right-handed antiparticles can interact with the weak force. In fact, we have the weak force to thank for our ability to detect neutrinos. The weak force allows neutrinos to interact with the nuclei of atoms and produce particles that we can detect directly. Neutrinos also have three types, muon, tau, and electron. These neutrinos can freely switch between each other. This phenomenon is called oscillation. However, oscillation is a bit of a newcomer to our theories, so scientists have been formulating experiments to prove its existence, one of these experiments being Miniboon. At the Miniboon, scientists sent a beam of pure muon neutrinos at a detector and compared the amounts of the different types of neutrinos. They found that the muon neutrinos that oscillated into electron neutrinos significantly exceeded what their theories were expecting. What could explain this? So, hear me out. What if there was a neutrino that was right-handed? A neutrino that couldn't interact with the weak force. The scientists at Miniboon wouldn't be able to detect them, but what if, let's just say, the beam neutrinos can switch to our new hypothetical neutrino and then into the electron neutrino? Depending on the properties of this particle, this oscillation would be easier for the neutrinos, explaining the excess in electron neutrinos. Well, let me tell you, these hypothetical particles are our so-called sterile neutrinos. This solution was proposed by the Miniboon team in their 2018 paper, and it does have some good theoretical motivation. So did we discover a new particle beyond the standard model? Probably not. Though similar abnormalities have been reported by a separate neutrino detection experiment, other sources would disagree with the existence of a fourth type of neutrino. Does that really matter, though? If sterile neutrinos don't exist, fine. Other ideas, such as the major Rana mechanism, might even flourish thanks to that. A single idea might not be right, but like the Dirac C and the Ether, it may well be a stepping stone for a greater idea to come.